Yo, Buzzy Games Bath here today. Let's make something fun. So we're going to go ahead and get points, learn how to get points anytime we press a key on our keyboard. So it's going to go ahead and update the leader stats value. So first off, let's go ahead and actually create our UI first. So inside of starter UI, add a screen UI and a frame. Now, inside of this frame, there's just going to be a text label, which shows us how many times we have pressed on our keyboard. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add another text label, which just shows us what exactly this UI is. And then I'm going to rename the text label that is counting the number to presses counter or press counter. And then rename my GUI to presses GUI. Let's add a remote event inside of replicated storage. And then I'm just going to go ahead and rename that to presses RE. Let's go ahead and add a script inside of server script to service. And we're going to go ahead and set up our leader stats here. Let's go ahead and create a player added function. We're going to create a new instance of a folder and naming that folder to leader stats. And then uh, we're going to parent the player to the leader stats uh, folder. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new instance called number value. And we're naming the number value to presses, set the value to zero. And the parent of our leader stats, I mean, of our number value is going to be the leader stats folder. So now we're going to go ahead and create one variable on the top for our remote event called presses re. And we have an on server event function where um, if the remote event is triggered or fired in the local script that we will be adding in just a second, then the leader stats value of our presses will be increased by one. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a local script inside of our frame. Okay, so we have a variable for our user input service and the remote event inside of our replicated storage called presses re and a uh, variable for our frame itself, which is just script.parent and a debounce. So we're gonna go ahead and create a function for our user input service. And first off, we wanna go ahead and set it so that anytime a player presses T on their keyboard, then the frame will be visible. Else, if they press T again, then the frame will no longer be visible and our debounce will be equal to false. Now, to uh, activate the presses uh, key code, we're gonna have to make sure that our debounce is equal to true. So if the key code, uh, if we want to press key code E and open is equal to true, then our remote event will be fired. So we're gonna do a while true do. We want it so that the presses counter text is the same as our leader stats value. So for example, if I pressed the E uh, once and the leader stats show one, then the uh, presses counter text will also change to one. Okay, so let's test it out. I open T to open up the UI, press E, and you'll see that my leader stats is updating as well as the text label. So cool. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. As always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.